Welcome, everybody, to another edition of the Inspired Teachers Podcast. Today, I'm here with my friend, Scott. Uh, that is Duluth Harbor behind us. And actually, behind you is Lake Superior. Uh, I'm going to have a great conversation with Scott. He's got some uh, very interesting things to tell us. And uh, stick around. Uh, today, I'm in Duluth, Minnesota, with my friend, Scott Filipovich, my old-time buddy, long-time student up here in Duluth. Uh, you know, <laughs> he kept me sane during the lockdown. It was pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, we're in Scott's backyard, and that is Duluth Harbor. And basically behind you, if we, we go behind this uh, house and across the street, is Lake Superior. Um, and if I get, if I get ambitious, to, uh, I'll go and, and film a little bit so you can see. But we are absolutely in paradise. I've been staying with Scott for a few days. Um, did Taiji here? Uh, it was amazing. So I, um, I'm really looking forward to this, uh, this interview, and I'd like to uh, introduce everybody to uh, Scott. Welcome, Scott. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's, it's uh, you know, it, it was, uh, as I said, during the lockdown up here, um, you were my only student. It was wonderful. I, it was sanity. You know, I feel so fortunate. One of those things that happens in the road, and it, it happened for a reason, I, I think. And, and I'll be doing Tai Chi for the rest of my days. That is because of it. amazing. Yeah, I mean, I and was. Did you? See, I can't remember. Did you see a poster, or how did how did we how did we meet up? Um, it was it was on the schedule at Evolve. You know, that's stu the studio. There. And it, my thing was, it, and that would have been in twenty. 2020 or 2019? Maybe 2019. I think 2019. And I, it was just on my thing to like try new things. And I had never seen Tai Chi offered in, in a studio. And as soon as I saw it, I said, I'm going. And I remember when I showed up, it was me and you and Jane. And we just sat there. Is this? I think I sat in position one for a very long time <laughs> the first time we did it. And, and he said, if you can do that, you can do it. And I was like, and I was like this, is, this is great. I could feel, I was, I was more in the energetics of it. Right, and, 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 and tell, you can tell my audience a little bit, what was your background coming to Taiji? What was your, um, you know, some of the training you had done before? Um, I had done yoga since 2012 so there was some of that you know to kind of unwind for, for Tai Chi it wasn't you know there's some things that cross over a little bit but not much you know and I remember having the toughest time in the beginning to try to separate my feet because I was so used to having them for warrior one and two on a train track mm. and of course you don't balance doing that so um, yoga was, was a big practice I, I think at that point I had, I had, I think I had done Qigong um, at the Unitarian Church, and uh, it was, you know, these things were kind of be becoming available to me, and I was just, you know, still so glad that I took advantage of it. I now realize that, you know, that, that Tai Chi is, to me, is like the, I, I, I do play a lot of music, and I, I run a retail music store, and, and so that's part of my background is 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 playing a lot. I played music since I've been, you know, probably ten or eleven, playing instruments and stuff like that. And I'm fortunate to do a job that I love, but I equate a lot of things to um, to that world, you know, in a way. And so I doing these other practices and stuff, I kind of realize like. Tai Chi is kind of like a piano, you know, it's, which I consider like the king of instruments. It lays out everything. Mm. If you're a pianist, you can see the piano in front of you, and that is the blueprint for um, Western theory mm. in music. I mean, you can, it's all laid out right there. It's not like a guitar where you can play the C note and, you know, a guitar, bass, uh, steel guitar, anything like that. You can play a... Uh, C or G note in 
at least three different places mm. on any of those instruments. Whereas the piano, it's only one. And so to me, I equate it to that because it's, it's kind of the top level of what, where everything is derived from. Mm. So um, I realized that kind of post. You know, and I still think that way. Um, so for you, having uh, when I said uh, you have to have a daily practice, uh, that was no big deal for you because you're a musician. That, well, e everything is still a little bit kind of hard when to fit in when 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 you're trying when you're doing something new. But it, there was a love for it. Mm -hmm. There was a connection. You know, and that was I, I feel lucky that that. Like yoga, I connected with it mm. very immediately, and um, just want to learn more. Still, you know, and I realize that the path is it seems like you know, like yoga, it's it's sort of an, it's a journey that can continue as long as you want it. And up here, you learned the short form. I did, and uh, you learned the Wu Li sword. That's correct. But now you've also learned, um, as I saw. Uh, out here in the backyard, you've learned the 150 posture long form. Yes. And, and that mo that was all from Zoom? That was all from Zoom. What so was that experience like? Well, it's, you know, as much as I would like to say, oh, well, you know, it's, it's not the same, and it's all this and that, the fact of the matter is that every Wednesday at 6.30, I am rushing home to get in front of that screen, and I don't <laughs> like to miss it. I've only missed it a couple times. I know. Three times, one, um, you know, my girlfriend's dad passed. Yeah. We had to, you know, deal with that, and a couple other times I was, you know, on vacation. I think on vacation is a good excuse for missing. Yeah. And well, what do, you, what do you think about, like, um, because this is a question I ask everybody, like, uh, pros and cons of learning or teaching from Zoom. Well, the pros are pretty, I mean, the pro is that it is so convenient, right? You, you can, once you know how to do it, and I, I'll be honest with you, even though, you know, I'm midlife, I am no technological genius. You know, even though I, I know how to run a synthesizer <laughs> and can hook that up to a drum machine, I still, with the computers and the recording and stuff like that, I am a knuckle dragger. <laughs> I am. <laughs> so I can't, you know, So, but Zoom makes it easy. It just makes it easy to kind of log on, and it's very convenient. You know, there's a two-dimensional aspect. That's that's one of the cons. Yeah. But the pro is, is that, you know what, you moved away. You know, when you moved away, I was like, oh, my God. You know, like, this, <laughs> I, I, it made me just have such appreciation for, for what we had during yeah. COVID. I mean, it really did. I was, I was, I am so lucky to be able to have Me that. too. Me too. And um, the the pros outweigh the cons of what it is. You know, something new, I'm, you know, a good, fearful Minnesotan, you know, uh, northern Minnesota, if I fear new things, you know, and I'm, oh, well, uh, you know, it's going to do this or that, but once once I was used to it, I mean, seriously, I look forward to it, you know, every, every week, you know, when the class is going to be on, I'm, I'm on at 6.30. I mean, just like I, I mean, I had to, I had to hone my craft to be able to teach. You know, I was, I'm a professional teacher full time. Um, I just didn't, I just didn't step into it. I mean, I've really worked it. And I'm trying to apply that to Zoom as well. I mean, I'm, you know, it's really good to get feedback. It's good to see. Uh, it's interesting to watch um, because you know a lot of the postures from the short form. But I kind of watched you, uh, as we were doing the form, which which postures were new to you, and um, you know from the previous training and from whatever, I can I can kind of get a grasp of what what was communicated, what were you able to absorb, and um, I I really think it's I don't think it's a replacement, I think it's an addition. Yes, I will agree with you. So here's a here's a question, you know, you being in, in music since you were a wee lad, do you think someone could learn an instrument on Zoom? Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I see people that come in and, and, and 
buy an instrument in the store, and they, they, um, you know, it's not just Zoom. You know, it's YouTube. YouTube, yeah. It's like the biggest thing. And I always tell people, there's, there's a ton of great stuff, but you do have to sift through some. You have to sift through the weeds to kind of get to it sometimes. You know, in the beginning, I kind of discourage it, I guess, a little bit because in music, you can learn some wrong habits, and, and it'd be better not to do that. Maybe be better to pick those up later, I guess. <laughs> you know, so like, it's it's um, with no guidance. You know, it's it's a little tough because you don't know what you're looking at, but. Um, Kids that play guitar today are, are, and you know, I don't know if this applies to, you know, Tai Chi, but like they advance very quickly because they can find what they are specifically interested in. You know what I mean? So they can they can zone in on something, somebody doing something that they like. You know, it's a little bit different with this because there's more of a regiment yes. format of how, how to get from one step to another. But the fact is, is that, you know, when you're an adult, you know, you can, you can manage your time better, you know, you know work plan and, and, and dedicate time, you know. But it is sort of like an instrument where if you do put in, you know, a little bit every day, you know, class a week or two class or, you know, an hour a day, you, you're going to be amazing, you know. But you have to have a you know, I've talked with uh, people that I, I I do have some people that have never learned in person, um, only learned on Zoom, um, and it's interesting because um, they don't know. On one level, they don't know what they're missing. They don't know that 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 the vibe, the feel, being together. Um, I really do believe you can learn a lot of it, and and if you can make a hybrid, if somebody were to live way out in the Iron Range. Yeah. So that, that means really far away up here in the north in Minnesota. It's like the deep north. The deep north. If someone were way up in the Iron Range and were taking Zoom classes and then a couple times a year could come in person and, and be with somebody, I think they could really get some good knowledge. Yeah. I mean, one of, the, one of the things that's a little bit different is, you know, sometimes you can't see the full body. And then for me, I can't conceptualize it sometimes in, in, th in the third dimension. Yeah. The one thing we can do in class is we can use our peripheral vision as we're doing it with a group. Yes. Whereas, yeah, I, if I'm watching on the screen, I have to focus on the screen. And that, that takes away some of the, like the eye meditation we were working with yes. last week. Um, and yet, it, it only takes like one or two times in class to learn that. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm actually really hopeful. I know a lot of people were upset like during the lockdown when various classes only went to Zoom. Yeah, if it was going to be the only thing, I don't know. You know, it's, it's, um, I, I think it's really valuable. So I like getting your feedback and, uh, yeah. you know. So what is your, what's your daily practice like? What do you, what do you do when you have uh, time before work and you can work out and do what you want to do? Usually when I have time before work, I'll try to get through the short form. And if I can have time, three times, mm. like you told me, one for the, one for the mind, right, one for the body, one for the spirit, yeah, and so, if I have that time, I'll do that, if I don't have that time, I usually just do some warm-up moves that we do in the set, I don't have the, you know, if I don't have the time, if I don't have the time, I do nothing, right, so right, even that, but it's not, um, I usually try to make time to, to tune up tune up the body mm. before I get to my day, you know, it's, it's um, you know, it, it, it's a guaranteed feel better before I go to work, there's no way around that. I had heard that um, one reason you practice in the morning before you go out into the world is that your energy, your awareness is out, it's awake, and then you're prepared to meet the day. And you, you ever notice when, like, you're really late, you roll out of bed, you're late, 
and it just seems like everybody's like on top of you and everything's happened it's because the energy's still inside yeah but when you get up and you practice and you do some forms and you do some weapons you maybe practice with another person then you're out ready to meet the day your energy's out and there's like a a lovely kind of you know tentacle buffer zone yeah everything's easier to deal with yeah if you can get it in you know everything is because people are easier to deal with yep i can accept everybody for who they are and and not have to think oh i was late and now i feel yep. weird or yep. you know whatever it's um yeah it's 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 a much better way to just to, to get through the day for sure the chinese have a saying it's um when when the tiger walks down the street, even the dog can harass him. Which means it means like you're out of your element yeah. and and, uh, and and you're you're off balance and you know a tiger's like oh well, what's going on here? Right. Whereas if it were out in the tiger's habitat, you know the dog the dog would better be quiet. That's right. Yeah. Well, good. Um, do you ha do you have a favorite practice now that you uh, if you have time? You know, standing meditation has been probably the one that I do the most. And you like it? I mean, you I really do because I can do it day or night. If I do Tai Chi at night, sometimes I get uh, too awake. Mm -hmm. and then, I, then I can't sleep. Yeah. Um, standing meditation, for a lot of reasons, um, has been a, a thing that has brought a lot of centering to me and, and also in that to be able to just be there and not, not think about what's behind me, what's ahead of me, nothing. Think about, you know, in my body right now and um, in my case, you know, it's a feeling. Well, I mean, you know, that's, um, that's a subject that uh, I think the audience would like to hear is some of uh, some of your healing journey and the healing benefits of these practices. Yes. Um, would you share with our... I, I will. Um, I was diagnosed with um, prostate cancer in, 20, in early 2020. 20, no, not 2020, excuse me. 2021. 2021. Yeah. Um, in 2020, if you remember, I had a bilateral inguinal hernia surgery. I remember. Yep, where I did the non-mesh that got the ball rolling to, I wasn't healing as, you know, you don't heal really fast from that, but it was a few months and I was still, I mean, I don't know if I could say this, but for lack of better words, it felt like I was kicked in the nuts, <laughs> like all the time, and it wasn't normal, and I didn't know what was wrong, so um, the love of my life, Shauna, she, she, her dad, prostate cancer survivor, huh. and she said at the time, go get your PSA level checked, and um, I didn't know that at that time, um, oh, okay, you know, I, was, I didn't have insurance at the time, and this was in like November, and I went and got checked, and the, the doctor, I mean, you know, I want to play poker with him, because I mean, he had a real kind of weird look on his face when he came in the door, and he's like, you know, your level is, is this, and it was, it was 33, which is pretty elevated. Uh-huh. And he said, I can't just hold on to this information. I have to give it to uh, the hospital. Do you, do you go here or here? So, I've been here, so send it there. And I, I didn't really even know what that meant at the time. You know, I didn't, it didn't have a lot of gravity to me. So I went in, and they said, "Well, there's a small chance that it's a uh, that it's a, a, an infection from the surgery they had you know, earlier in the year." So let's start you on antibiotics and get insurance. And so it was the window to buy insurance, and I did. And then on January one of that year, I think it was actually the third, as I went in this to get. started the ball rolling and then they finally came back with a I knew they were gonna call me with a with a with a hard diagnosis. 
you know, because they said, well, the anti, you know, the antibiotic thing didn't really brought it down a little bit, but not much. So the writing was a little bit on the wall, um, but I still didn't have a comprehension that was going to be. Um, so that got uh, when they called me finally. I I, I planned with Sean to go down to Florida, where I actually had the hernia surgery for parents of the at the time. Um, yeah, and then they, you know, it was that day that you know, they give you the call. Anybody who's been through it knows that that, that call is, um, you know, it's, it's a life changing deal. Mm. You know, you don't, you know, there's no uh, other option. This, this is what you have and, and you have to deal with it, you know. Um, because I was on vacation, you know, that was purposeful on my part. I didn't want to be at work or anything. And I happened to be with, with Shauna's parents who were both, um, you know, they, you know, s at the time, 75 and, and 79, I think. You know, not just surviving, but thriving cancer that they had had, you know, um, her dad had it a little bit later in life than me, I'm 50, he was like 53 or 54, um, so I was with people that were, that I was looking at a positive outcome, Yes. you know, which, which, which was great, you know, I, I could, I still say to Sean, I, I couldn't have been in a better right. place, you know, with her and her support, and you were right at their house when you got the... Um, I w we weren't at their house, but we were close. Close. And we went back. And then you could go and share it with them right away. Yep. Shauna shared it with them, and then she told me I had to share it with it for me. I'm like, that's what you need to do. And we talked about it a little bit, and we just kind of moved on to dinner. And, you know, of course, it was topic of conversation and stuff. And, but they, you know, they, they were living proof. Living proof of, of faith. It's not all bad, you know. And uh, when I got back, it started to be, hey, here, uh, you know, we ran this by our board and all this stuff. And, you know, we should have a surgery. You should have a prostatectomy. Every, every doctor that we've talked to on our panel thinks that that is what it's going to be. And uh, I happen to have a friend who was a neuro radiologist in the Twin Cities who I called kind of immediately and just said, hey, this, this came through. Sorry to talk to work about you, man. But, you know, but this is this is what's happening to me. He's just enough to kind of decode some of the language and mm. stuff that I didn't understand. And, and uh, he was also good enough to come to a, to a meeting virtually, mm. you know, with the doctors to kind of ask some questions that, that you know, I didn't really the um, knowledge to kind of ask. I want to make sure that the surgery was the right thing. You know, I wasn't just going to jump into it based on their thing. But after I talked to him, I sent the scans to him and stuff, and everything came back, and that's what needed to be done. But he did, in the end, you know, his presence there and, and sending the scans to someone else got me a referral to the clinic, which is where the surgery had been done. done, um, it wasn't a slam dunk, so it was, you know, there's 16 nodes um, that they go after to take out the cancer, and um, there was still in one node, so that meant a whole other ball of wax, you know, which is chemotherapy uh, in two different forms. Mm -hmm. Four pills a day of this Zytiga, but my insurance only gets the generic version, which is called Abiraterol, and then a, a three-month shot of Lupra. Every every three months, they give me a certain dose, which um, you know not only hurts, it's it's financially just wait. All this stuff is fi financially devastating. Actually, it's, it's 
it's borderline criminal in my mind how much <laughs> they charge. You know, it's pretty crazy. And, and a lot of time people don't understand until they're, they've actually been in it. Right. Like my my chemotherapy drug is is a, a, a list price of eleven thousand bucks a month. Ouch. You know the the, the the pharmacy negotiates it down to thirty three hundred, and then you're on the hook for thirteen. You know, until your deductible is maxed. And right, then, you know, right. So, I mean, all of it is a shell game. Sometimes I feel like I'm, you know, in Queens with, like, uh, paved, you know, like a cardboard, you know, three styrofoam cups and a, and yeah. a card table and a walnut, you know. And I'm yep. like, I don't know what's going you know. But I, I kind of put that as, you know, it, that will work itself out in yeah. some way. Um, no I, real price on your health. It, well, you can't really think that way. No, you know, you can't. I, I, I couldn't go there, it, even though I did, because I think anybody normal would. Like oh, this is, you know. And then I just realized I can't put my energy getting mad at the system. It's not going to change until I'm right. gone. You've got to go. I got to do it the way they do it. And I, I come from a family system, to be honest with you, that doesn't, that, that, that really didn't even promote going to the uncle tell me, you know, you didn't think cancer was even all that annoying. Okay. And so, it, in my family system, it was never really brought out to be like, hey, go go get a physical every year or something. Because, I mean, the reality of it is, is that prostate cancer moves slow. Mm. So, I mean, if, if, if I would have broke that system myself and gone years and years ago, you know, things may have been different. This is another thing I've realized on this journey. I can't really dwell on what could have been. You have to go with what is today. Well, you know, I mean, I, I was privy to all of this as you're going through it, and I just remember you had a really, not that you didn't weren't frustrated or mad at times, but you had a really positive out, uh, outlook, um, and you were you were, were living your life. You were still doing life. You were learning and practicing. and, and, and Yes. Um, I think that that went a long way to your uh, to your re your healing. Yes. Oh, it's it's quite essential. I think. I, I think a lot of the things, whether it was yoga, tai chi, shigong, meditation, those type of things before this, I knew they made me feel. I knew that it was a good thing to do for yourself. Um, now, it, it, I know for a fact that practices that promote inner work, mm -hmm. they work. They work. There's no question about it. None. You know, the, the track record for Taiji and healing is pretty phenomenal. Again, you 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 now go in that long list of people that you know Taiji played a part in their healing. It it, it does. I mean, I can feel the the the, the chi rising in my system when I would do it. I can feel it. You know, even one time when, when we were in class, we were doing standing meditation. I said, "Is anybody sweating profusely like me?" You know, and you know the the, the, the drugs that I'm on me give. Yeah, they call it menopause. Menopause. Yeah, real fun. But it's uh, you know when I'm doing those things, it's activating. Mm -hmm. It's activating my system, and it's activating the medicine. You know, every time I get a heat flash, you know, I, at first I was like, whoa, weird, and I was kind of scared. And then I, I just accepted really quickly that you know what, when this is happening. It's doing something, mm. which means that it's working. Yeah, you know. So that's the attitude that I've carried, um, and I know that when I practice, the level of healing that you know. That's why I've been doing a lot of standing meditation because I can concentrate on on my. I, I try to take my inner being, and I try to go inside my. I, I, 
would have never before I did these practices, and I told them because I had to do forty rounds of um, radiation, mm. thirty-eight actually, you know, stretched over you know, a long time. And they don't do it on weekends, you know, it's whatever it is. Um, it took a long time to do thirty sessions. And that was um, kind of a rough journey, and you know, at points I was still making it every week on Zoom. But there's there was even periods where you probably couldn't see me on camera. But I was on the floor doing sort of somatic mm -hmm. tai chi, you know, on the floor. You know, doing. Well, and I'm remembering you sending me photos of you like doing, yeah. doing kicks and doing what I could do. Doing what I could do. Yeah. You know, doing doing kicks at the start of radiation. I was, I was still doing it, still doing it all the time, and. It was helping me focus. It was protecting me when I was, because if anybody's been into, um, either with a loved one or themselves, into, um, you know, nuclear medicine, radiation oncology room, um, it's a daunting place, you know. Um, there's a lot of emotion mm. going on, mm. even from closed, you know, people in Minnesota, they don't, they don't talk to each other, even in like the yep. mall or anything. You know? <laughs> right. It's not like the East Coast where people go, hey, what's up? You know, they just don't do it. But there, you can see them sitting, you know, everyone kind of either sitting with their loved one, but still in isolation, no one's talking, but you can just, the, 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 the level of heaviness is, mm. is palatable. Mm. And controlling your energy and protecting your energy was a, a skill that I learned through this that was essential. Wow. Because I had to go in there with openness mm. to people. You know, and you can't just, you know, not deal with anybody. You have to deal with people. It's a, you know, it's a thing, but it, it's being able to protect yourself from other people's sorrow. Mm as well as, I consider myself kind of a sensor, so I, I'm sensitive to a lot of An people's, empath. yes, but I'm sensitive to a lot of people's stuff, and, um, you know, before I started practicing, you know, it, it was, it was more of a hindrance than a gift, now it's a gift, because I know when to extend, mm. but also when to pull back mm. and protect. Because it's a very, very important thing not to let not to let other people sorrow in, and some of your own. You know, you can be sad. You know, but sad and happy to me are sort of acute situations. You know, they're short term. You know, they're meant to be. Mm. Contentment, content, and sorrow, I think, are kind of opposite and both very powerful things. Mm. You know, so when I refer to sorrow, I, I say that that's like a deep, you know, sort of thing that can, I, I think it feeds sickness, personally. Mm -hmm. um, and contentment is something that I get through Tai Chi. I don't get happy. I get happy because I get to go do it. You know, I'm happy, I'm excited to go do it. After that's when you get the real stuff. That's when you get content. Mm. To me, contentment is something that can carry you through any difficult situation because you can still think. You're not overwhelmed. You're not. You're not sucked into something where it's it's controlling you. You are controlling it if you want. Yes. Tai Chi offers that choice. It's offered that choice to me, and it's it's made my path through this. It, it, it's the reason I can say I've gotten through it as good as, as I am. I've known other doctors that are friends. They're like, you're getting through this, like, wow. I'm like, well, I, I, you, I, should, you should do some Tai Chi. I know, you've been very positive and uh you know, I, I'll just admit it. There's many times I just don't even think of what you're going through. 
I just it's just it, it's just Scott doing Tai Chi. Yep. And then you'll you'll say, hey, I I, I this milestone or I've done or I've, I'm completed this whatever, and I'm like, oh, that's right, you that's are, right. because <laughs> right. you're just you're just living large. Well, wh where are you at right now with with the uh, treatment or whatever the? Um, um, I'm still in chemical therapy. Chemical chemo therapy. Chemotherapy. Um, I'll be that. You know. Hopefully, I'm done. 2024. Yep. Sometime next year. Yep. You know, I went and had like a, a DEXA scan because I was very concerned about my bones. Yes. What did they find out? Fine. Fine? Yeah. Good. For a while, I was, I thought it was low. I thought I was in osteopenia, but I was, it was me kind of misunderstanding the chart. Yeah. It, it wasn't minus one. It was minus point one. And I was like, actually, my bones are good. And that comes from, you know, like, it was, it meant a lot to me when you said in class one day, you know, you were talking about your, your mantra. Yeah. And you said, it's, I want my bones to be strong. Yeah. You know, and that. Fill that, up your marrow, strengthen your bones. Yeah, it, it, that one hit, hit me right here because. Um, you had proof. I had proof. You know, it was, I mean, you, you told me a long time. You know, just stand, just standing in position one, just letting gravity yep. go through your body. You need to feel it. That makes your bones stronger. Yeah, yep. it definitely does. It definitely does. And you know, I'm not, uh, not that, uh, not that it's guaranteed. Uh, if any of us take a tumble, that we won't break our hips, but. A lot of Taiji people, even even in their old age, you know, they do pushing hands, they fall down or whatever. Um, I saw Master Liang fall down one time in the middle of winter uh, on some ice, mm -hmm. and he just got right back up. And 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 we, we were walking to class, and he got the class. I'm like, sir, are you okay? He says, I'm fine. Yeah. yeah. I will say, you know, and, and I'll give you some photos to show through this. You know, there was there was at some point my kicks, they were getting lower and lower. Said that you know that the more someone can can do kicks is a, is a signal of, of where they're at. Yep. You know? and that is true. It's it's waned a little bit, but it comes back slow if you keep working at it. You know, and I just want people to know that um, through my experience, you know, sharing. Mm. One thing about prostate cancer, prostate cancer is as big as breast cancer. Mm. It's huge. We live in Duluth. We have our, our um, kind of flagship visual thing is the aerial lift bridge. You know, they light that up pink. You know, yeah, they have pink garbage cans. You know, you see people wearing the pink ribbon. Why? Women talk about their health. Guys? Right. Nothing. The Stoics, and it's just as prevalent. It's yeah. one in every eight, eight guys, just like breast cancer. Yeah. Um, so the reason I'm sharing is to just say that it's okay to share. You know, you there's, you know, fear to yourself. That's that's a dangerous place to be. I don't think, and I, I think that it can be, it can send you down more more of a um, rabbit hole. Getting, being more sick, or even, even if it doesn't, and I'm just fooling myself. Let's just say, which I don't think I am, but let's just say I was. Then my journey would be fine, like to the end, because I am content. Yes. So that's what I'm. That's what Tai Chi gives me. That's what I strive to do. Well, and you know. It, it, We've heard all the horror stories, and you know everybody's got a bad story. And sometimes we need to hear the good story because you know what? Sometimes, actually, a lot of times, every, you know, and, and you know, and and he lived happily ever after. It's and it's and it's really, you know, I'm really, I'm thank you so much for like putting this story out to give other people hope. Um, is maybe somebody's suffering in silence or going through the same thing you are, mm -hmm. and um, you know. 
I don't know. I think you've, you've, you've really, you've taken a really good uh, stance, mental stance, and I think that's gone a long way, too. Yeah, I mean, I will say in the beginning, you know, in all fairness and honesty, I, I wasn't open. I was pretty close because, for one, there's a lot of unknowns. Yes. So I respect somebody who says I'm keeping it to myself yep. because, you know what? They, there's still unknowns, even where I'm at, but they didn't even know if I was going to make it out of surgery without having to wear a colostomy bag for the rest of my life. They did not know that. I didn't. Yeah. You know, so to explain it to somebody at a certain point and then just not have the answers of where it's going to move forward, I, I, I guess I do give yeah. people grace in that. Well, in and that. then but, also... But once you're at a place where you can share, I think it's and not to alarm people when you don't have the full story. I totally understand yeah. that, you know. Um, or just, you know, even in certain circles. Um, I mean, my, you know, my, my role as a teacher for the last 30 years, I mean, a lot of people have, you know, told me their health concerns. Like, you know, I kept your, your I keep your, when you told me, that it's like, a, it's like, a, you know, a client, a, a attorney client, you know, privilege or whatever I don't right. tell anybody and I and I know sometimes people need to tell you they need to they need to know that someone else knows what you're going through right you know and and uh, and then all, it's always surprising sometimes uh, if you can offer some help if you can say we'll try doing this or you know I, I, I have a friend that I meet with once a week and I'm about six months ahead of him in, you know in my journey with cancer and but yet he's older than said to him every week, green tea and Tai Chi. <laughs> green tea and Tai Chi. Green tea and Tai Chi. Hey, we're going to get t-shirts <laughs> with your face. Scott says green tea and Tai Chi. Yeah, I, that's a winner. Well, it, it is a winner. I can prove it. I, I'm here. I'm, I'm standing in front of you. I, I am absolutely. I saw you having your green tea today. Every day. Yep. Every day. Cut yep. a little bit of ginger in there. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know, the Chinese have a saying, uh, no sickness, short life. One sickness, long life. And I and it's it's just to let you know that you know you got to take care of yourself. And sometimes you need um. You just need to see that it's not a free ride. Health is not a free ride. No, your life is not a free ride. Yeah, no guarantees. There's there is none. You know, but you can make things work your way. You, you can make things so you don't have to suffer in the dark. You know, Tai Chi makes me live in the light, mm. not suffer in the dark. You know, some people, you know, I also understand that some people don't share because they don't want it, like I don't want it to be an identifier right. for the rest of my life. Right. I mean, I'm ready to leave it in the rear view yep. mirror, keep checking, keep, keep going to the dock, do my thing. You know, but I don't want it to be... Define you. I don't want it to define you. Right. I, I don't want it to be a define. Right. I don't. You know, um, I am a... You know, I went and did my yoga training. I'm a yoga instructor. Yoga instructor, musician. Yeah, right. Those are good definitions. But even in, like, the... You know, I, I guess, you know, Tai Chi, I don't feel that I'm using that as an identifier. It's in my heart. It's mm. it's something that's close to me, and I know that I will do it for the rest of my life. Mm. And going through it, having found Tai Chi first before I had this kind of laid into me, and also doing yoga be before I was able to kind of practice Tai Chi or it kind of came my way, I consider those things like a um, like I was building like a garden, mm. you know. It's building a garden and it was able to kind of bloom out and help me through a very rough period mm -hmm. and still does and so that's why you got to keep practicing you're, you're kind of planting yes. things for the future because life is is has up and ups and downs you no one no one gets out without something the bill comes due you get to spend and spend but the bill comes 
gotta pay it. So it's it's planting stuff, it's putting stuff in the piggy bank to get you through. And Tai Chi is one of those things that you can, you know, you can it's easily accessible. You can do it, it can plant your garden. Scott, I really want to thank you for, for diving in like that and, uh, you know, sharing, sharing that, uh, your story, your ordeal. I, I know you're still, I know you're still on the tail end of it. Um, and I, I would like to do a follow up and, and oh yeah, on your graduation. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and, uh, you know, we'll plan something fun, but, um, I mean, this has been really beautiful. It's just, it's just lovely here. And, uh, I think this probably has a little bit to do with your healing. It definitely does. Um, it definitely does. I'm, I have extreme gratitude for what I get to do every day. I really do. I wake up and I say thank you. I do. That's that's beautiful. You know, and I, I I'll be honest. I, I didn't do that before. I didn't really do that before. I had this diagnosis. You know, it was. Uh, Reset. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it can it can uh, you know prioritize stuff that didn't have a priority. Yeah. But I'd like to change the subject now. I'd like to put you. I, I can't. I you know I usually say to people I'm going to put you in the hot seat, but <laughs> you've been in the hot seat. So, <laughs> uh, I just you know <laughs> what what you've been through is. Uh, and it's nothing I can do to you. But I'm going to ask you two questions. Okay. All right. Here you go. Number one. What's your favorite memory? Or what? Yeah. What's what's your what's your favorite memory? What was your like memory of your happiest moment? As a child, my favorite memory sure. was um, being with my grandparents at their farm. Um, there was one of the nights kind of like this, but it was a little bit warmer. Yeah. And there was just fireflies everywhere. You know, and we caught some and we threw them in the jar and I slept on their hide a bed that was in the living room. And then they had like a popcorn ceiling and it really glares. And I just remember looking at that ceiling and I just felt so safe. day was like perfect and like what we did was such an adventure wow you know? and so that that is one memory that I did. Did, you, did you do that with your brother was that were you guys together yes wow yeah, it, was, it was a great that, that is a great memory. I remember feeling you know down about something sometimes, sometimes that's where I get it's that, that feeling That that's that was content. Yes. You know, and I couldn't have been more than four or five. Carried you this whole way, and you didn't hesitate when I asked you. Like right. you knew right away. Yeah. Well, here's another question for you. It's one I ask everybody, and I'm always I'm always pleasantly surprised by people's answers because there's 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 no right or wrong answer. It's just your answer. Uh, so Scott. You're looking in your magic crystal ball. What do you see? What do I see? Yeah. What does the crystal ball do? No, I don't know. I mean, does it see the future? It could. It's kind of a crazy question. It is kind of a crazy question. You know, I just see a lot of love. I, I'm in a very loving relationship. Wow. You know, and I love this one. What's her name? Her name is Shauna. Shauna. I love Shauna. I love Shauna. I do. And she loves me. Sweet. And I have seen you two together. Yeah. And, you know, we just have, uh, we, we will be on our journey together. Fantastic. You know, we are going to take a lot of adventures. Excellent. Life is, is, is gonna be good. That is one thing I do. We, there's, 
you know, we got. She says it all the time. We have a lot of stuff to do. Well, and I remember you right. two went to. Uh, you went to it was a Chichen Itza, and you sent me a picture of you doing the horse stance, and yep. you guys are on vacation and big smiles. And yep. Was that on your bucket list? It, I didn't even know we were gonna go. She, she, oh. she's like, we gotta go to this place. And wow. I was like, she's like, we're gonna catch the bus at like five in the morning, and wow. we did. not I had no idea what we were. I really want to go there. That's on my bucket it list. It was the energy. Was yeah. Palatable. Oh my god. I mean, it was that place was there was something different. I've never been in another place like it. And before that, they we actually took a tour bus. We went swimming in a cenote. Before that, which is like a huge tree has gone. It's left this huge cavern down to uh, the water. Yes. It, and it's like hundreds of feet down. You look up. It's like this big. Place. And. There's, you know, that was, an, I mean, that is a life tile adventure that both of us will always remember. I, it was so hot at Chichen Itza that it was like, the sun was like going through me. I mean, it was, it was really like no other place I've ever been. And the, the, the vibes were high. I mean, the energy level was like palatable. You could feel it in the air. Um, but there's a lot more. Well, we're, we already talked that we're going to go to Machu Picchu together. So. Machu Picchu. Yeah. Yes. 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 South I, would, I look forward to that. Is that in South America? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. South America has our name on it. Okay. We we do need to go, and you know what? You know, the sooner the better. Right? Yeah. Why not? You know, why not? Allow yourself to do it. You know, I can say I I have too many bills. I I can't do something like that. I'm in a place now. I remember when you when you were talking about your Volkswagen. It was so funny. <laughs> you weren't trying to teach me anything, but you were like, you know what? I'm throwing responsibility in everybody else's hands. I'm just doing what I want and whatever. And that is one thing that I like. You know what? That's saying I'm. It's not being selfish. It's not saying, hey, I'm not dealing with stuff. It, what I heard was that I, I I need to live life for me, and I'm not going to worry about. Some stuff, I, I, you know. I need to do me, and, and that's that's a that's a that's a great thing. Yeah, worry never changes anything. It does. It cannot fix anything. No, it's a hindrance. Yeah. You know? But it's you know, my family system was, was um, a pretty typical northern Minnesota Iron Range kind of fear oh, going yeah. on, you know, and and you know. It, it, you, it's hard to get rid of, you know, but again, you go back to do a standing meditation and see how scared you are when you're done with it. Yeah. With, with, of anything. You, you'll be clear. You'll be able to think. There was a, a famous uh, Taiji master. It was during the Cultural Revolution in the mid-60s when uh, Ma was trying to reassert power and um, it was like a bunch of young soldiers would go through and they were really, I mean, they killed people. They were killing people and they were getting rid of any last vestiges of, like, old culture and stuff. And they broke into this old Taiji master's house and he'd had, like, a collection of Ming Dynasty, you know, cups and vases and, and stuff like that. And they smashed it all and they beat him up and they ripped up his calligraphy and said, you know, this, this is the old way and you need to you need to be modern and, you know, left them all bloody and when they left, he went out in the backyard and he did a round of Tai Chi. He said, well, they can't take that from me. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? And then he, you know, and he lived to be 108. He's really famous and, uh, yeah. yeah, that's, that's letting some, you know, that's, that's priorities. That's yep. having some pride, some very good pride. Well, Scott, this has been great. Yeah. Uh, I will. I will come back for sure. Yeah. And we'll, we'll uh, do a follow up. Let's do a follow up. And, 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 and if there's anybody, you know, out there that is going through this and, and knows and is a Thai cheer and has, you know, any questions, um, I'll, I'll 
I'll leave my contact with you. If someone, you know, has questions for me, I, I'd be happy to answer. I can put your email I'd be in the description. Yeah. I'd be happy to answer. So I'll do that. I'll, I'll put Scott's email in the description. And, uh, you know, email him, even if you just want to say, hey, good job, or, you know, I liked your interview, or you want to have a, a, a talk about uh, healing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I'd I'll be, do that. I'd be happy to help. You know, that, that's something I'd like. That's, that's very generous, yeah. and uh, it really... Because it's confusing, the whole system, the whole health system. I mean, all of it, all of it is confusing. Well, wonderful. You know, and, and no one ever says... Hey, here's a coach of somebody that's been through it before. Yeah, you know it doesn't. Um, you know, and I was in a situation where my family system was also like, you know, uh, it, there was no one else on, on the side of my family that's still here and alive that is was able to offer any advice. So if anybody's in that situation, I'd be happy to help. That's 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 beautiful. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy this uh, this interview. And uh, you know, like, subscribe, uh, hit the bell, put a comment, all of that stuff. And I really do. I appreciate everybody's feedback on the other podcasts and the lessons. And um, uh, I'm going to film a, a few more lessons on Taiji Classics. And uh, uh, we're just having a beautiful end of summer here in Minnesota. And Scott, thank you again for uh, you know inviting me up here oh, to enjoy you. this and. Yes. Uh, if you ever get a chance, everybody come up to uh, come up to Duluth. It's absolutely amazing. And around around uh, of Taiji here with the, the lake energy and, and everything, it's just pretty amazing. So uh, I hope your Taiji practice is 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 going well. Thank you so much.